Yo, what up? This is Mike Brown. This is Alpha. And this is The Art of Letting Go. Letting go, letting go. I didn't get my tea today. It's all good. <laughs> What's up, man? What's up, man? Not too much, man. I'm still uh, I'm still riding this Kanye West wave. Yeah, I saw um, that, man. Like, he really, he really fucked my mind up today. Mm-hmm. Just because this is somebody that I've always looked up to. I've always looked up to him, and I've always looked up to Pharrell. Yeah. But I well, think... For, before you get into that, so tell everybody what happened. Because um, they might not know. They might not know what happened, how you, how all that went down. So today, Kanye was shooting a video at a TMZ. Mm-hmm. And I won't put my connects out there, but I had a connect that works over there. And it uh, got me in the building. Okay. And I got to watch Kanye do an interview. And while he was doing this interview, this motherfucker locked in on me. Like, we made eye contact and he just was talking to me like like we talking right now. Yeah. That's what I felt like. Yeah, yeah. And uh, when he was done with the interview, he was walking towards where they were shooting the video at. And we made eye contact again. And I just told him thank you. Like, I told him thank you and and he looked at me like he appreciated but then he was like man give me a hug bro exact words yeah that's what's up no bullshit and the nigga came over to me i gave the nigga a hug and uh we talked maybe we talked maybe for like a minute and a half to two minutes it wasn't even that long to really engage but it was what i needed and i felt like he got what he needed out of that too because everybody that was around there was just like man he felt your energy yeah and that, that made me feel good, but it also made me feel good in knowing, like, man, this is a nigga that I've always looked up to. So to have the opportunity to meet this nigga and just knowing the, the journey that I'm on right now and the shit that I'm pursuing and him really putting the energy out there in the world. Like, I feel like everything I'm doing is about love right now and, mm-hmm. and, and everything is about growth yeah. and peace and shit. And for him to be talking that shit and for us to connect, it was like, welcome in it was almost like he he opened the door for me and it was like this is your opportunity right here and you know it may have not been that but the energy is what that felt like for me and that's what i'm using that as i'm taking that energy and just using it to push because that nigga even if he do have fear he moved fearless as fuck Mm -hmm. and just to see somebody in the flesh Mm. like you know, I, I I definitely feel like uh just just the way he is with his shit. Like I I felt him because as they were shooting the video, like he was he was in the video, but he was also helping them direct the video, mm-hmm. like telling them, okay, let's do this shot like this, and let's do this. How do you want this? So he was both, you know, the the actor in the video, but also the director. Like he yeah. was taking direction, but also giving it as well, and that just was wild to see to me because you know a lot of times people just show up for shit and they just do whatever needs to be done but this nigga sees how things should be done and i feel like i'm the same way Mm -hmm. and i don't know man like he met he he made me feel comfortable in being me and i told him that i told him thank you Mm -hmm. like you make me feel good about being myself that's what's up and I could tell he appreciated that shit, man. And just, you know, that energy that he gave me, it's like I have to keep sharing that with people. And, you know, I hope whatever energy I gave him, he continued to share that with people because, like, we all are connected as fuck. And um, it's just mind-blowing, man. It really yeah. is. It's a small world. It's yeah. a small world. And so this is a... It's kind of, like a, I guess this might be like a kind of a Mike Brown episode. <laughs> but uh, so this is not the first time you've met somebody that you really looked up to. Nah, it's not. Um, I met Pharrell twice. Okay. And like I said, both of those guys are two guys that I've always looked up to. But I feel like I connected more to Kanye because to me, Pharrell is what I aspired to be. Like he, he I always perceived him as perfect, mm-hmm. you know, like things are always going good for Pharrell but then I look at Kanye and he be frustrated he be <laughs> he be going through it yeah but getting through it too yeah that's true and I feel more connected to that mm-hmm. I feel connected to being angry when things don't go your way 
or you know defeating the obstacles of like oh motherfuckers say i can't do this and doing it like i connect to that shit hard so when i when i see him and how he moves it was it was like man like this is like my brother you know what i mean like that's how i felt when i saw him so i don't know man like so you didn't get none of that because you know you know a lot of people how a lot of people feel about Kanye right now. Yeah. And so as far as his energy, because we always talk about energy and feeling people's energy and how that kind of makes us move and being around certain kind of energies. And so um, when you were around him, did you get that sense of like any negativity or like in the sunken place? How everybody Hon- been saying? Honestly, I didn't get that. Okay. Um, like he had the MAGA hat on and shit. Mm-hmm. And I think... I was so in tune with his spirit, I didn't even see that shit. That's real. That's I didn't real. even care. Yeah. You know? That's Kanye West. Mm-hmm. And when we talked, he was real peaceful. Mm-hmm. He was real humble. And um, I asked him how he was feeling. He was like, man, I feel good. Mm-hmm. And that made me feel good to know that he felt good. And then when I seen the pictures that people took and he actually had a smile on his face... That was dope to me because I saw, I watched him take pictures with other people Mm -hmm. and he wasn't smiling, Mm -hmm. you know? So it's, you know, I I think it's all in the energy that you bring people Mm -hmm. and you get that shit back. But he, he definitely, his spirit felt good for me. Yeah. You know, aside from all the other bullshit that he had going on. And, you know, I was telling somebody today because they was telling me, you know, I can't, I can't really get with Kanye right now. Okay, you got family members and motherfuckers that do fucked up shit. Right. And you get with them. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I always I always had a thought of if I did get the opportunity to meet Kanye, I would I would probably do the same thing you did. Like I would like to really engage him and see where his head was at. Yeah. Um and where his spirit is at. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm never one to really judge based off of what everybody is saying and based off of perception itself. I really like to get to know the person yeah. for themselves. Uh, so I can make up my own judgment about or not even judgment, so I can make up my own whatever about who that person is to me, personally. Um, but since we're talking about role models, I kind of want to stay in that vein. And um, really just, what do, you, what do you get from role models? Like, what are you getting from people, the people that you've looked up to and the people that you've met um, just for general life experience? You know, like, you got, uh, you look up to them musically, yeah, but is there, do you look up to them, like, in any other way? I think for me, the role models were kind of like a roadmap for me. Okay. Um, now, I get the opportunity to see that they're human. Okay. You know, when I when I look at Ye now and I see him, I'm like, man, that, that nigga's human. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, we, we build all these people up to be like these big grand yeah, people and they're supposed to be perfect yeah. or what we think they are. And then when they have a human moment, we just kind of like, nah, I ain't fucking with that. <laughs> but nah, man, like... You know, I, I, I really feel in my heart because somebody was saying, well, he friends with Trump. If people felt the same way about James as they do about Trump, I'm not turning my back on my that's friend. Real. That's Fuck real. Fuck you. That's real. You know what I'm saying? Like, And that's just being real. And not to say that I'm a Trump supporter, but at the same time, I support my friends, mm-hmm. right or wrong. Now, I'm going to tell him how I feel, Yeah. but at the same time... I'm not turning my back on somebody I love and that's care true. about. That's true. Now, I don't know if Kanye love and care about him, <laughs> but, you know, that that's his thing. And and even with the MAGA hat, like, you know, you can have role models, but you don't have to follow everything that somebody do. You don't listen to everything that your parents told you to that's do. That's real. So why would, just because he wearing the hat, I feel like I have to. Like, I think that's where the real freedom is, the freedom of thought of, I could wear this hat if I want to, or I don't have to wear this hat. Right, right. Some people just going to do the shit just because Kanye doing it. Mm-hmm. That ain't me. I think it's cool, too, that you can differentiate that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can have a difference of opinion with you and still have love for you. You know what I'm saying? Like, Absolutely. we don't have to agree. And I think that's kind of how we need to treat everybody. You know what I'm saying? Like, everybody yeah. should treat each other like, I might not agree with what you got going on. I might not agree with what exactly you're saying. But I'm willing to sit down and have a conversation with you. And if we walk away and we and we agree to disagree, then we agree to disagree. But at least we were able to sit down and have a civil conversation about whatever it was. 
And it's like, all right, brother, well, if that's how you feel, then that's how you feel. And that's what he on. That's what's up. That's what he on. He At least that's what I got from one, seeing him do the interview, and two, just being in his presence. Yeah. He was out there just having conversations, mm -hmm. opening up the dialogue, talk about whatever he had going on, talking about the hat, talking about uh, the 13th Amendment, talking about everything. And, okay, you know, it, it was just really cool to see. And, and even when he was done... He told the guy from TMZ, I love you. And he had everybody say, we love you. Mm -hmm. He was like, because I'm just one person, yeah. but we need to collectively love you. That's what's up. So he was like, we love you. That's and what's up. I was just like, man, brother, we on the same wave, and we going to cross paths again. Yeah. We going to cross paths again. I'm honestly really happy for you, man, because we've – had a couple of conversations about the different people you've met and you said earlier this year um maybe even a couple of months ago like you was gonna meet kanye like it was gonna happen and yeah. the fact that it came like this is just really dope you know what i'm saying like i'm really happy that you got to have that experience and you were able to even talk to him like not only not only did you see him in person because you've been to concerts and you've done that but this the, motherfucker came up to me. Yeah. That's what fucked me up. Yeah. Cause he got security and all that shit around him. And he walked off and came over where I was at. And just... You got that glow? <laughs> <laughs> Somebody was like, are you about to cry? I was like, no, I'm not about to cry. Like, I, I really was more so just in shock yeah. that it all happened. Yeah, it, I'm still, like, just floating on that. Like, it still hasn't really settled in. Like, man, Kanye came up to me rather than me. Because people was, people was going to try to talk to him and mm -hmm. shit. You know, but he came talk to me. That's what's up. That's what's up, man. Well, yeah, like I said, man, I'm glad you got to to experience that. Um, role models for me, uh, we've, we've kind of talked about that before, but I always felt like my role models were more on TV yeah. than, you know what I'm saying, in person. So I haven't had a chance to meet anybody, but it was kind of the same thing you said. It was kind of a roadmap um, for kind of how I wanted to live, but not, not necessarily even live. It just gave me insight on different ways to act. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Like, it didn't really teach me how to, because I, form, I formulated those thoughts on my own as far as how I wanted to live, but how to, how to act and how to carry myself in certain situations, like watching different stuff like that and pinning it to myself based, on, based off of what I believe and how I um, want to go about doing things. Um, I can say that's probably what the most that I've gotten from particular role models. Yeah. Um, that I haven't been fortunate enough, as my brother right here sitting next to me, to and meet. It, you know, it's, it's nothing wrong with having role models because, uh, you know, they kind of they kind of give you something to aspire to be. You know, like I've never I never felt like I wanted to be Kanye West mm -hmm. or be Pharrell, but I wanted to be like them. Yeah. And I think chasing that started making me shape it for myself. Mm -hmm. Like, OK, this is what I want. This is what what I see suitable for my life. And man kind of just thinking about something that james said friday because james and i talked friday but just having a dream mm -hmm. chasing that dream and that being what keeps you going yeah and i feel like i've been chasing the same dream for like the last 10 years and now that dream is becoming a reality yeah so i think if you chase the dream long enough it turns into a reality and once you're in that reality, you have to recognize it and be present mm -hmm. to stay in that shit. Mm -hmm. So that's really all I'm doing, man. Like I'm, I'm not, I'm not doing nothing special. I'm just you're just chasing. Yeah, you're chasing. And and you know it's good to recognize. It's good for me to even hear you say that too, because I was just telling you before we started doing this. Like there's a lot of different things that are moving and shaking in my life. And they're just really hard to see for me right now. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm just chasing and I'm just moving. And um, just taking a step back is good to kind of see like, okay, you're moving. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like you are moving towards your goal. Like it might not seem like it's happening for you right now. It might not seem like it's even working. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But just keep after it and keep chasing it and keep going for it. And every now and then take a step back and look at the distance that you've covered. Like you have to do that because if you don't, I mean, I've known a lot of people to give up on certain things, and I'm and I've been a victim of thinking that I was going to give up on something, and being like, 
nah, I need to keep going. You know what I'm saying? And those breaks are good, but at the same time, you just got to keep pushing. You got to keep moving toward whatever it is that you're trying to accomplish. Because it will happen one way or another. It's going to happen. Absolutely. I absolutely believe that. And, man, like one thing that has always worked for me is speaking things into existence, mm-hmm. writing things out. Like, yeah. you know, I, f- I found old, like, old things that I've written out before and I go back and see what I've accomplished mm-hmm. or, like, you know, where I'm at. And it's always cool to be able to cross things off. But I like saying shit out loud. Yeah. I like saying shit out loud because it's like, okay, I said it out loud. Now it's out in the universe. Mm-hmm. And when it comes back to me at whatever time, like, it doesn't have to come back to me tomorrow. But whenever it comes back, it's like, I said that. Mm-hmm. You know, that's why. And I maybe that's why I'm, I'm kind of tripped out. And I shouldn't be because even... When I met Pharrell, it was something I said I was going to do that year. And it ended up happening 2012. Mm -hmm. And it's just like, man, those may seem like, you know, outrageous goals and shit. But fuck, if I could set those and reach them, Lord knows what I could set and reach, you know? Yeah, I think it's important, too, that when you say it, you believe what it is that you're saying. Absolutely. Like, to say something is one thing, but to put faith behind what it is that you're saying and to really believe that no this is going to happen yeah like i've definitely seen it happen speaking things into existence is real like but you have to believe it and then you got to work toward it and then sometimes you ain't even working toward it like you think you are but it still comes to you because you spoke into it it, into existence and so i I think as long as you work in as long as you work in the universe is going to recognize that shit Mm -hmm. and it's going to throw you whatever you need like you know, you if you working, 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 and and progressing, even if it's slow, you know, one day you might get that alley oop, and mm-hmm. you just gotta slam that motherfucker. You do, you definitely do, and you gotta recognize that alley oop. <laughs> Absolutely, <laughs> you gotta recognize that 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 pass. Um, but yeah, man. Overall, I think that it was really dope that you got to meet Kanye. I'm actually happy that it happened today. I appreciate that. Yeah, and uh, you were able to come on and really give like the fresh. Yeah, I said, what a, what a way to start a month. Mm-hmm. What a way to finish out a year. That's real. Looking forward to what it turns into for the lifetime. That's real. For real. That's what's up, man. Um, you got anything else you want to say? Nah, man. Um, easy supply all day. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't have nothing else. All right, man. Where can the folks find you at? You can find me at Just Mike Brown on all social media and uh, Mike Brown on all streaming services for the music. And you can find me on uh, Alpha Presents, A-L-F underscore presents on uh, social media. My Wayne Michael on Insta, I mean on Facebook and uh, the Art of Letting Go podcast on SoundCloud and um, Apple Music and um, YouTube. We're on YouTube now. The Art of Letting Go podcast is on YouTube. So please subscribe. Um, you know, be down in the comment section. Let us know what you think. And uh, yeah, man, holla at us. We, we appreciate y'all listening. This is Mike Brown. This is Alpha. And this is The Art of Letting Go. Letting go. Letting go. Whoop. Whoop. Scoop.